use. In this case, I'm going to use this texture. Click the little button. It imports the texture, or material, sorry, whatever you want to call it. Exit the little properties window. Move your content browser. And now you have your little dirt thing here. Click on it. Hold control and left click. If it will work here. Uh -huh. Hold on a second. It's buggy since I'm recording at the same time. It's kind of weird. Okay. Let's see if it actually... Oh, that's why I had that selected. Click the little paintbrush. Okay, hold control, left click. The first time it'll lag out, but now just hold control and just, you know, keep... You know, uh, press the, the left mouse button and hold it, and you can just drag and paint all the material on here. If you right click while holding control, it'll erase it. So, it's good to know. Um, and we got ourselves a little hill here that's uh, been removed of all the grass. Um, In order to, let's say, add an object to your terrain, then it's really simple. Let's exit the um, <coughs> the, edit, the, the terrain editor here. Bring in your content browser. Go to like something that, here's where the cool stuff is. If you go down here and you go all the way to the top and you go to UTK game. If you scroll down, this is like where everything in the game is. That's you know the default game or whatever, the test game or demo. Uh, you have all this cool stuff you can put here. Um, let's just say, for instance, we want to put a statue or something on that hill right there. If I can find it, I just saw it. <coughs> okay, it's somewhere here. Let's just kind of scroll and see what we got. Um, where's that statue? There it is. Here's one. You can bring it out and just drag and drop it. You just click it, hold it, drop it. And move the content browser out of the way here. As you can see, we have ourselves a little tiny statue. But we don't want it little and tiny. It's too small. So what you want to do is you click on the statue. You go up here to this tool. This right here is scaling. And just pull it up. Well, make sure you get on it and pull it up like that. Keep pulling it, and now you still got yourself a really big statue standing there. And you can, you know, make it what size you want. You can move it around, whatever. Um, that's all good and fine right there. <coughs> and we can just kind of keep working with this. You can, you can add a sky. You, uh, this is one little thing that I think everybody misses and doesn't do. It's really easy to add a sky. Uh, go to the game engine right here. Make sure this is clicked. Go to search and type in sky. And then you will see the defaults here. I'm not sure how to make those. I haven't tried it yet. But uh, here's a couple of default ones that look pretty cool. This one, it makes a dome. So if you click it, you drag it out, and you drop it. Now, movie content browser out of the way. As you can see, we have ourselves a nice sky. You can actually play the game and drop down <coughs> and you can actually move around you can see that it looks just like it goes on forever like in the regular game or whatever um, so uh, yeah it's nice to have and make it a little bit more interesting when you play um, just press exit to get out of this mode <coughs> I'm trying to think is, is there anything else you need to know about <coughs> Sorry, I think I'm a bit sick here today. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, um, hmm. I'm trying to think what else I could show you here. Uh, let me go back to UDK here. Get rid of this guy. Let me go back to the regular materials and objects. Here we go. We can, I don't know, pick something and just drag and drop it. You see, we have ourselves a pillar. Ooh, we can make it bigger. Mm, click this little button here and uh, just drag it up, drag it up, and you have yourself a, a big pillar there. And then you can make multiple, like six, and then make a big square with it with six pillars. Put a roof on it, like just grab a roof here from somewhere here. Should have them, plenty of them. Um, they have little tank tracks and stairs and 
other stuff. You can make your own models in uh, um, 3D Max. I'm working on that. I know how to do it. I'm just having a problem with importing. Well, my uh, meshes seem to be too big, uh, too many, uh, too much geometry. It won't accept it, so I ended up cutting half of my model. So that's why I don't have custom models. I'm in school for game design and development. I'm taking level design now, so hopefully my teacher can uh, help me out with that. Yeah. So, so you know a little about me. And we had a little ball here. You make the little ball a little bigger. You go up here to the uh, scaling tool and just kind of make it really big here. You can do anything you really want to it. Now you got yourself a big ball. Um, you can put some inside the ball. Uh, for some reason, when you play the game, you can't get inside the ball. I don't know why. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Um, we can go down here and add something else from somewhere here. <coughs> Had these cool little animation things, bits. If I can find one. I don't know how to do this yet. I haven't learned. It, it, I'm pretty sure it's pretty simple, but I just haven't take the, taken the time to learn it yet. If I can find it. Um, let's just use this one, for example. I think this would work out here. I'm not sure I haven't used this one before. Um, and I don't see anything unless it's really small. Some stuff, you, you when you put it in, nothing appears, and it may seem like that sometimes, but it's actually there. It's just really small. See? There it is. Now, you can make it bigger. I mean, it's not a problem here. You, I mean, you can do whatever with it. Put it in the sky or some kind of something in your, your game here, just a little effect. Um, that's basically a tutorial on how to make a terrain and how to put in some models and add textures and stuff, I'm going to end the video now, I don't want to make it too long for YouTube, so uh, but the next tutorial, I'm going to um, add bots, so I will probably upload it sometime tonight, if anybody's watching yet, probably not, but yeah, nice teaching you guys, and I will see you next time.